Hi, my name is Anna and I lived in a life full of sin for about 16 years before Jesus pulled me out of it. Um, I was a lesbian, an alcoholic, a drug addict, a stripper, and God saved me from all of that um, when I repented for my sin. Cool. Okay. Hi, my name's Anna and I used to be a lesbian. I am a basketball player. I work with youth. Um, I'm studying to become a, a qualified youth worker. Um, I'm a Christian. I identify as a follower of Christ. Um, I love him, he rescued me, he changed my life. Um, yeah. When I was about 14 I ran away from home and I was unhappy. Um, at the time I, I'd fought with my stepdad or something like that but made me run away and I ended up on the streets outside the fireworks over in my town in New Brighton and um, we met, um, my friend and I met a couple of guys, older guys, uh, about 22, 24 and we went back to their house and we were a little bit drunk, had a few drinks and next minute my friend was off with this other guy and I was in a situation where I was alone with this older guy probably for the first time in my life. Um, I was a Christian girl, I was raised a Christian so I knew God and I just, yeah, it was, a, it was a different situation for me to be in. So I ended up getting manipulated into having sex with this guy and it was very unloving and very uh, painful experience for me. Um, he, yeah, just wanted to get off, to put it bluntly. And um, yeah, I just remember like lying there and just, I, I didn't, I wasn't like screaming no or anything, I was just kind of really fully <sighs> victimised, like I didn't know what to do, um, I didn't know how he'd react if I said no, that's kind of how innocent I was um, at that point, yeah, so he took advantage of me and I just remember like him whispering in my ear it'll be over soon because he he knew that I was in pain and I wasn't enjoying it and um, yeah it was just like a an end goal for this man and um, yeah since I've forgiven that man through yeah a lot of a lot of work but yeah I've, I've definitely forgiven him and that was really hard to do but um, I've really dealt with that now and um, I just believe that that was sort of why I ended up heading down the path of, yeah, seeing females sleeping around with as many women as possible. I just, yeah, grew a real hate for myself. I only really felt convicted one time and that was, um, I was engaged to be married to um, a girlfriend of about four years and um, my dad came to us and he said, I love you both, but I'm a Christian and I serve God and I will not be able to attend your wedding. And I got really angry and couldn't deal with that statement and yeah. really abused my father for that. Um, but now I kind of realized that it planted a seed um, and it was convicting me that dad was, God was speaking through dad telling me that, um, you know, that's not who he made me to be. His child. Um, what does it mean to be a child of God? He wants us to 
submit to him, listen to him, talk to him all day, you know, um, share our lives with us. Um, he wants us to love him and love what he has planned for us, be victorious in that. He wants us to find the truth and the truth is him. Yeah, I do. Absolutely, I've found yeah. my, my true identity in Jesus, with Jesus. Um, there's no way I'd be talking on a camera in the past. There's no way I'd be talking to a strange man. <laughs> Not a strange man, but someone I didn't know well in the past. Like God has healed so much inside of me and to my life around in so many ways. It's, um, yeah, it's just amazing. It's just it's such an honour to to be chosen by him, to be led by him, be walking with him. I think that people are trying to find their identities. Um, I think that as we go through life, a lot of us get um, deceived and pulled off track. And I just believe that people are trying to fill the void with whatever they can. Um, my personal experience was that I had a horrible um, encounter, um, sort of, I had a horrible sexual experience with a man who took advantage of me and my personal experience was that I needed to feel comfortable with a, with a partner so I ended up going down that road of uh, seeking women and at first I wasn't really that comfortable with it. I was, um, yeah, just kind of trying to find my place, trying to find my identity, somewhere to feel safe and loved. And um, that ended up being where I, where I went, so. Because I'd say that they're convicted. Um, I feel like it's a real spiritual battle. Um, you know, the whole LGBTQ community is called Pride, you know, they're proud to be um, flaunting this rainbow flag and all these things that kind of uh, go against God, um, that are clearly written in the Bible that we, we will do, we will go against God, we will, um, you know, trade natural um, I don't know what I'm trying to think of here. We trade natural, do unnatural things with men, men with men, and women will lie with women. You know, God makes it clear what we'll do in the Bible, and I just believe that we just in perilous times, and that movement is just increasing, and it's a real spiritual thing. And kids are just trying to find their identity because they've been either hurt by the opposite sex or they've been abused by parents or there's just so many different reasons why you could end up in a female-female or male-male relationship. I love Jesus. Um, I want to glorify him. I, I want to speak to anyone out there that needs to hear this. It needs to hear that, you know, you, I was once gay and now I'm not. I'm, my mind is renewed. I have changed my mind and you can change your mind. I was really unhappy in the decisions that I made to be a lesbian, um, to live in these relationships that um, became very emotionally abusive. Um, there's a reason why God created a man and a woman to complement each other. Um, and I've seen that firsthand. I've seen that lesbian relationships personally, in my opinion, do not work. Um, and the Bible kind of confirmed that to me. So Yeah, I do. Absolutely. I feel like he's given me a um, a hope to look forward to having a husband and having a family and um, 
yeah, it's a little bit scary still, but I'm absolutely excited for what's in store next because God is so faithful and he has just picked me up and taken me from the darkness and turned my whole life around and um, I was as good as dead. The devil was trying to take me out and I am still here singing God's praises because I'm alive because of him. Absolutely, yeah. Can you speak about that? I just didn't understand why. Um, at the time, I didn't understand that my decisions in life can lead to good or bad things. Um, I, I felt like my life was falling apart at that point in, in time and, and I didn't feel God near me anymore because I was starting to have challenges and um, I was starting to really not feel at home and hate on my mum and my stepdad and yeah just I was starting to rebel and um, I realise now it's my decisions that lead me into those situations and um, I just yeah I did feel really angry at God I felt like he wasn't there and it's because I didn't understand I would say there is a God who created you uniquely. You're one of a kind. And he loves you with all his heart. And he has the answers that you are questioning in your head. And even when we're alone and we think about this stuff, you know, what's the point in life? And what do I do with my life? And all these hard questions. I just believe that that Jesus has the answers. He um, he just wants us to to listen to him and do things his way and submit our lives to him because he can keep us safe in this crazy world where um, people just get so deceived. People are just so deceived by the devil, by all the all the social constructs. You know, and this this LGBTQ mo movement is it's next level. It's it's really um, yeah. People are are finding a sense of belonging in it, but that sense of belonging is is against God, and that's the truth. It's written in the Bible. Absolutely, because it's sin. All sin feels good all sin we're attracted to um, and all sin has consequences and I've just absolutely lived the life of sin and I'm so unworthy to be in Jesus' arms but I am I am now and I will sing his praises forever It's so real to be in love with the same sex. That's such a real feeling. Like it's the same as, as a man and a woman relationship. Um, you know, I was so deceived by that love. Um, just have to trust in God and allow him to keep renewing my mind. And I just have to be in prayer with him every day. And he shows me the truth. And the truth is that the devil doesn't want me to speak out. And the truth is that the devil doesn't want me to let go of this lesbianism, these feelings for women. He wants me to be rooted in that. He wants to fool me that that is my identity. And I know because I compare myself to the, the scriptures and that's how I know. I think um, people really spoke that over my life. People were like, oh, you're a tomboy, you know, you play with all the boys, you love wearing pants, um, you know, you... People really spoke it over me. They really spoke those words of um, affirmation that I was a lesbian. And I think words are so dangerous and so good as well. Powerful, 
yeah, we need to speak the right words over people. And um, yeah, I just feel for this generation of youth growing up in this world where they are being told all sorts of confusing ideologies that just do not glorify God. They aren't the truth. Um, we're telling people that they come from monkeys, Neanderthals, and people aren't questioning. I would just say that God has a plan for your life and he loves you and you know you may feel lost, you may feel confused but you need to go to him. You need to go to him and pray to him, just you and him and he will talk to you. He will reveal himself to you if you seek him with all your heart like the Bible says. That's what I did, I seeked him with all my heart and I found him. Not bad, not bad for a first time.